Hello everyone and welcome back to Creating with Miss Nancy and if you are new to the channel do not forget to subscribe if you like the video and if you like the DIYs but also Miss Nancy is the one that is doing the DIYs, she is the one crafting and I am Victoria, her daughter, doing the voiceover. We are a mother-daughter crafting duo, <laughs> a creative duo. Um, but anyway you guys, welcome to the channel and let's get into today's DIYs. I can't wait for you all to see them. So right here Miss Nancy bought this glass cup from Dollar Tree. Now I have to say something about this. It is so beautiful. So if you go to your Dollar Tree and you see this there, well, you'll see what I'm talking about. The camera does not do it justice. I love that cup. And I love the fact that it's very durable. It's great quality. It's not flimsy. It's just beautiful and it looks so classy. But anyway, right here, Miss Nancy's going to be using this glass cup as a part of her DIY home decor. So right now she is also going to be taking a lid from a candle that she bought. Now this candle smelled so awesome by the way, but that's besides the point. She's going to take the lid from that candle because we used it all up. The wax is gone, it has dissipated. So the lid she's going to start out by painting it over with white chalk paint. Now if the first coat isn't good enough, you can always add a second coat after the after the first coat is finished drying. So, well, that's that with the lid. She's just going to paint it over with white chalk paint. Now, for the second step, after she is done putting the antique wax on, she's simply going to take that wooden spindle top and she's going to glue it to the actual candle holder, the actual candle lid right here. Remember to stick around till the end of the video because, well, that is where I show you guys exactly what Miss Nancy uses it for, the ideas on how to display it, how we are displaying it, etc, etc. Now we're on to DIY number two. So right here at Dollar Tree, they have some wooden animals and they have different creatures. They have the, you know, the sharks, the little wooden sharks, the little, um, well, right here, wooden snakes, and we do not need the snake, okay? We don't need the head of the snake, because when I saw Miss Nancy buy these, I thought to myself, oh, we're making a snake DIY? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was just playing around, though. But anyway, you're going to take the little wooden snakes from Dollar Tree, and these can be used as unique rustic or bohemian handles. Honestly, I love... I love the uniqueness of it all, using things, at, you know, using different materials for handles. I love it. I'm all here for it. Now at Dollar Tree, they also have some woven baskets. They come in two different colors, at least in my Dollar Tree, and I love them. They're so adorable. So Miss Nancy's going to glue these two woven baskets together. Then she's going to take that, uh, the little uh, wooden, the previous, previous snake, okay? She's going to take the wooden snake and she's going to glue it and use it as a handle inside of the woven baskets. We're not done yet. On to DIY number three. Okay, you all. So guess where this glass bowl is from? Take a wild guess. If you said Dollar Tree, well, I will give you a virtual high five because a lot of the things that we do are in fact from Dollar Tree because we're all about the affordable, okay? And making things look high end or personalizing our things and customizing them the way that we want. I love customization. It's kind of what I do whenever I go to the stores and because I love writing, I don't really see a lot of journals that are super pretty. They're just, you know, plain old boring journals and that's not that's not what I like you know I like the bright the colorful the fun journals so that's why a lot of times I just make my own because I don't see what I want in the store and that's kind of what you know we're here what we do here on creating with Miss Nancy is that if you go to the store and maybe there's something that's too expensive and maybe they don't have exactly what you are looking for well you can get the materials and you can create what you're looking for you know if you don't see it create it so right here Miss Nancy is going to be taking this fabric and I don't even remember what this was left over from um, but it's just black and white. It's got the little zigzags right there. It's actually making me dizzy just looking at it. But anyway, she's going to cut them into strips. And she's simply going to layer the strips 
on top of the glass bowl. Now, whenever she was gluing and layering the strips, please tell me why I thought of Pillsbury dough and making a pie. Because you know how they take the, the little strips of the Pillsbury dough and you're making apple pie or something and you're just layering them in a tic-tac-toe form or like crisscross, zigzag, however you want to do it. Why did I think of that when I was looking at this? I mean, this has nothing to do with food at all. I don't know. <laughs> That's just me. That is just me. That's why that's why I just don't watch mukbangs because I, I'll get hungry. So, no, let's not do that. We're not going to get hungry watching this DIY. We're not thinking about Pillsbury dough. We're not, we're not going to make any apple pies. We might. <laughs> but anyway, she's just going to do that, and it's very simple to do. Okay, you all, so now that Miss Nancy is done layering, adding her fabric, adding some hot glue, she's going to come in with the other wooden snake, remove the pointy part of the tail, remove the, remove the head, and then she's simply going to glue both ends together, add some glue on the bottom, and then glue it to the glass bowl itself, and that will serve as the little stand where the bowl can stand. <laughs> Okay, you all, now Miss Nancy's coming in with some jute rope. It's always good to add a border that just kind of helps finish it off. All, also, it is adding a touch of rustic, which we love, by the way, in case you have not noticed. We're, we love that rustic in the farmhouse, antique, vintage look and style. We love it. But hey, we also do love modern and a you know variety of styles. Honestly, it really just depends on what you want to create and where in the house you're going to put it. Um, there, I've seen plenty of houses, you know, there's just different areas in your home sometimes where they have different aesthetics. For example, the bathroom. A lot of people decorate the restroom with nautical and coastal themed. And nautical and coastal theme isn't around their entire house. It's just specifically in that one room in the house. And I guess the same concept goes for bedrooms. You know, if you go into someone's bedroom, like mine, for example, shabby chic. My sister's modern. She likes that look. Okay, you all, now Miss Nancy is taking these this wood bead garland. It's a very small one. And yes, it is from Dollar Tree yet again. Now, this wood bead garland has these little wooden squares. It's natural. It's not painted, unfinished. And they have these little shells on them. So she's going to simply take those shells and glue them to this piece right here. Now, I love this because it's looking rustic. And yet, because she is adding this little detail of adding the seashells, it is looking coastal and nautical so details do matter and you'll be you'd be amazed at how just a small little thing can drastically change the entire concept and the idea of your DIY so right now she's gonna paint them over with some blue I love that because you all I, it has been so long since I have been to the beach I think it's time for me to take a trip to Florida I really really want to go it's been so long I love the ocean I love and all I want to do is see a crab okay I just want to pick up the little crabs and just put them in a little a little sandcastle or something <laughs> it has been too long I think that would be really fun except the sand getting everywhere is just not my thing it is always the worst when you're going into your car and you're bringing all the sand with you. There's just no way, no way to get it off, no matter how hard you try <laughs> until you get home and actually take a shower. It's just everywhere. Okay, you all, now we are on to DIY number four. And in this DIY, we are also using a bowl, but this one is black. And actually, yes, Miss Nancy bought it at Dollar Tree yet again. And for this DIY, it is literally, quite literally, just one clip. And it is so easy to do because you just do one thing. You glue yet another lid for a candle to the bottom of this glass bowl, and there you go. 
it's it's automatically unique and ready to go and you can use it for whatever you want okay now we are on to DIY number five and we're going we're going to be using this garden dish it's a plastic garden dish from Dollar Tree and all we're going to do right here is simply glue some jute rope all the way around it it's gonna be used as a border a little trim if you will and I want to make note of this if you have noticed that Miss Nancy's hands have changed do not be alarmed it is okay because this is my sister and she also helps with the DIYing so sometimes if you recognize that the hands have changed it's not Miss Nancy and it's not me it's my sister so honestly I love this DIY all she's going to do like I said is glue that jute rope all the way around I do want to make note of this that she added two layers of jute rope so one layer then she added another one right on top of that and this is my favorite part it really is because like I said I already told you guys I love the beach I miss the beach I want to live in Florida <laughs> it's my dream but anyway she's just going to take these seashells from Dollar Tree and she's going to glue them on top of the jute rope now I think that it's amazing that Dollar Tree actually has these seashells for a dollar twenty-five it's unbelievable to me because of how many you get, the great quality, the variety, the shape, the color, I love it. Because I've been to you know Walmart and other stores and then I see a bag of seashells like this or smaller and they're selling for $15, $20 and, it, and I think to myself, why? <laughs> but anyway, Dollar Tree has these out right now and I love them. They are so adorable and perfect for that nautical and coastal themed, yes! Okay, you all, so once she has added those seashells, she's going to flip it over and she's going to add rocks at the bottom. Now these are also at Dollar Tree. They have so many different rocks and they're perfect for decorating. So she's going to glue them on the bottom of this dish. And you all, that is it for today's video. We are at the end of the video. And well, do you see this beautiful garden dish right here? It is filled with the moss. We have a little greenery in the middle. We have some seashells inside. The rocks are beautiful at the bottom. Overall, an easy and beautiful coastal slash nautical slash rustic DIY home decor piece 10 out of 10 super easy to do and of course we always encourage you guys get creative with it customize it however you want but we love it and by the way do not forget to like and to subscribe and most importantly to hit that notification bell that way you can get notified every single time that Miss Nancy comes to you with a brand new DIY compilation video happy crafting happy creating and you guys know it. May your creativity never run out.